Welcome to part two of a two-part series on the Power Women of the Trades podcast. First, let's hear from those who make this episode possible. Hi, I'm Kelly Rowlett Presgrave. I'm president and CEO of Work With Your Hands, and we are so proud to be a sponsor of Power Women of the Trades podcast. You can reach us at workwithyourhands.com. Kelly at workwithyourhands.com is my email. At Relentless Digital, we believe in breaking barriers and driving innovation. That's why we are extremely proud to sponsor the Power Women of the Trades podcast, supporting the voices and success of women in the home service industry. Together, we're creating a future where talent shines regardless of gender and diversity thrives. Join our journey at relentless-digital.com and always be relentless in your pursuit of excellence. This episode of Power Women of the Trades is also brought to you by Forrest Perry, of Forrest Perry Digital Marketing. Want to generate more leads for your service business? Trust his team to deliver quality new customer leads and protect your brand online. Check out perrymarketing.com today. Chirp, the ultimate automation toolbox for home service businesses. Chirp helps you capture more leads, connect faster, close more deals, and create customers for life. Through text message, email, and ringless voicemail automation, Chirp can help you transform your customer's experience. Learn more in the show notes below. So um, what I've noticed that you've started getting some partnerships Ooh, on TikTok. I want to hear about that. You know, yeah. I saw what Veto Pro Pack. I call that yes. the Louis Vuitton. Uh, yes, that's the, <laughs> right that's at the, the bag. The bags, right? Yeah, Brent you saw those. at HR. Yeah. Brent loves those bags. She was like, what are these? And I was like, it's the Louis Vuitton of tool bags. <laughs> of H- yeah, of the trade bags. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I am sponsored and an ambassador with them. So it's been really cool to see what kind of different companies will reach out and be like, hey, we see you're following your social media and everything. Would you like to be part of us kind of thing? So That's it's so been cool. really fun to see. Um, <clears throat> of course, with everything, you have to make sure you do your background checks yeah. on everyone. Do you really want to be promoted through them? Or are they what right. you're looking for kind of thing? Oh, so we we think, just talked about that with our own sponsorships here. Was there a point, yeah. like you were saying, you kind of started this during COVID that and documenting your process as you were learning this, that you realized on social media, you had reached a certain level and you were like, okay, wait a second. This is kind of a, I mean, a sponsorship is a big deal. I, I mean, whatever, yeah, like that's a big I, deal. Like, was there a no, moment I don't you were like, it. where you were like, okay, wait a second, I'm really doing this thing? Yeah, no, definitely. And um, like, when I went to HR, I met like bigger social media followers. And then for them to be like, you're Ashley. I'm like, how do you know me? Yeah. <laughs> it's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love it. And yes, to have like sponsorships. And it's just like, that's so cool. Wow, I you. really got there. Like, yeah. just posting my everyday work life right. like it's mm-hmm. so cool to see and like for them to want to have me showcase their products for other people to also get because it's worth getting is there right. one that you got that you were just so excited about like compared to the rest i think veto has been yeah. the, the biggest one because they'll you know they'll anything i need they will help me get so it's yeah. been so fun. It's that's like awesome. I get to get this bag this month. Like yeah, that's so cool. That's so cool, right? And it and Vito, listen, when we found Vito, like I wanna say, I don't I don't even know how old the company is, but it's been it was I think even Can you monogram them? I'm sure. Like put your like logo embroider on them. them. I'm, I'm just sure. asking because like a while back we did Carhartt tool bags and I was pretty excited about them, but I want if there's a better option like I'm just it vetoes. was difficult every time I do like we do a um every every month we do like a review challenge for our team and every time I give away a veto as the the, the guys like that they're like bet you know yes, like I'm getting like that, that you know okay it like it's a good one so I have to be careful with it because I'm like sometimes I'm like I'm just gonna keep doing it you know every month just but, to make you know, him do stuff yeah, yeah. <laughs> for the for reviews and then the I'm positive, like okay it's like the positive um when you want to reward the positive behavior yeah. what's it called I can't think of it I don't know it's gonna bug me <laughs> something along that yeah, line something yeah something cool something <laughs> cool so i um 
what is next? Like, what are you shooting? What do you want to do? What are you shooting for? Like, what's next for you? I know, right? I, I just keep posting, keep trying to showcase, you know, what I do, what I, what we can do. I know sometimes it gets repetitive, like, oh, I'm going to this call and it's another capacitor, but. That's what it is, it, though. Yeah. You know, I, think I mean, but showing people like, hey, I have five calls and they were all capacitors, but we can do more. We can clean out the cabinet. We can make sure the condenser is washed and running correctly. Mm -hmm. Check the air filter. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not just like, go change the capacitor and you're out of yeah. there, you know, like it still takes me an hour Minimum. to be there with a customer, talk with them, mm -hmm. you know, everybody wants to talk. Everyone loves to talk, especially the older people, yes. you know, they have no one to talk to. Yes. So I'm sitting there for three hours having a cup of coffee with this person yeah. after I changed their capacitor for five minutes. So, <laughs> you know, um, that brings me to like, I think that that's still so good though, because I always tell our team like, you need to enjoy where you work because no matter where you work, the call is still the same as far as what's the problem. Now, our process and our expectation is going to be different than everyone else, but the air conditioner still broke. The plumbing's mm -hmm. still wrong. Something, all that, that call, that customer, what is wrong in the house is not dependent on the company you work for. And so you know, these, I think people from time to time, technicians are like jumping, thinking they're going to get an, a better experience. Oh, the, maybe I'll have better calls at that job. You're not, it's all still the no, same types the same. of things, you know, mm -hmm. it's just the process. You've got to work for a company that you believe in the process. You believe in the company, you believe in the culture, those things. And then, but everything else outside, when you get to that customer's house, it's all the same. Yeah. You know, and you no, are there, really it does not matter what company you work for at that point of like, if that uh, air conditioner needs a capacitor or not. Yeah, there's so, some unethical companies, you know, that are yes. like, that's not who, that's it. But see, even in that piece of it, that's the minority, the very, 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 very small piece. The, there's the majority of great companies out there. But yeah, the and that's what I like to showcase too. It's just like, just because this unit is 30, 40 years old doesn't mean we have to replace it. Like we're not here to just start replacing units. If we start replacing everyone's units out here, how are we going to get work? Right. Everything's going to be yeah. under warranty. Yeah. Yeah. Expect, and you know, we want to talk about that. Our, we always talk with our team is like our job is to educate, mm, you know, yes. because if you just go in and change the capacitor and then later, this is like, how often does this happen, right? You go and change the capacitor because it's capa it was the capacitor, but you know that the condenser fan motor was on its last leg, but you don't mention that to that customer. Right. But then, you they know, they feel like you stole something later, not you know, know, or it quit working tomorrow. And they're like, yeah. you, they now no longer trust you because they yeah, feel like you misdiagnosed it, it or you broke yeah. it. So it's not like we're like, hey, make sure you will offer the capa or the condenser fan motor to sell it. It's like, no, it's validating that you knew what you were doing from the get go. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, um, that doesn't mean that they have to have it today, but they know that it might be yes. time soon. Um, yes, of course. You know, or the the replacement of the unit. Is it ideal to put a thousand dollars into a 20 year old unit? No. no. Is that sometimes the only option for that person? Yes. But yeah. if you don't have the conversation, you're cutting them and yourself short. But mm -hmm. that doesn't mean we're replacing yes. all of them, you know? Yes. And so I think it's all about that mentality and that expectation of teaching the customer if yeah. we're focused on teaching and and having them understand you know how many years and and oscar says this a lot my husband how different the trade is now from back in the day right and you know brent talks i'm sure with plumbing as well it's it's evolved so differently but i feel that's like why and i feel like the business of it changes weekly oh yeah like how we, I mean, truthfully, mm -hmm. and then it seemed like with COVID, it just made it even faster. Uh huh. But customers aren't the same as they were 30 years right. ago. And so technicians can't be the same as they were 30 years ago. So sometimes these guys who have been doing it for so long are wrong now, not in how they diet or fix the problem, but it's how they present the problem because 
you we need to educate and understand because yeah. people didn't know you know i remember my grandparents we replaced their air conditioner for them before they passed and it was like oh my gosh so much carbon monoxide is coming out of this thing this furnace but thankfully it was like in an outdoor closet and oh god <laughs> they we changed them to a programmable or not a programmable to a, a digital thermostat that was like the most basic, but the numbers, it was like the biggest numbers. And my grandpa thought that was the coolest stuff that had ever Aww. happened. And that thermostat that so was cute. like literally like a basic thermostat, you yes. know? Yes. But And so, again, it's about the education and what's out there and not just assuming that they don't want to know those things. Yeah, no, definitely. I have a lot of customers that, you know, they have that mercury one that they, mm -hmm. they moved a little dial and set their mm -hmm. little temperatures between the ranges. And I'm like hey, I can change this for you and put a simple one. You just go up and down on the numbers, on and off, mm -hmm. and the display is nice and big so you can read it. Mm -hmm. And they love it. And I'll, I, I'm will i able to throw it in for free yeah. sometimes, you know, yeah, when I need to so. or when I want to. So that's even a bonus on my end. It's just like giving that person that extra step in my service. 100%. And they see it. Yeah, and like how often, like when we think about it, especially that older generation, how often people don't tell them things about technology because they just assume they won't understand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of like, hey, let me teach you. And that's yeah. rewarding too, you know? So that's uh, awesome. Girl, I think you're so cool. I think it's like so cool what you're doing. I think Cassie has wanted to get you on for so, so long. Yes. Literally, I know we've been talking I about it for you, months. <laughs> when I met you in... Where were we? Yeah. Was it the women in HVAC yes. event? Okay. I texted Leslie. Yeah. I was like, girl. Like, I wanted <laughs> and to. And then in HR, we were only there for like such a short time. Oh, yeah. Um, we I know. I couldn't catch you guys. Sure. So it was like way overdue to get you on here. But I th hope this is just like the next step for you, too, you know, of so much there's so much out there you know and yeah. I think you have really done a good job of positioning yourself to teach through social media but also show your abilities for so many other options of this career because I think we sometimes get lost in the sauce of what's available in HVAC mm -hmm. oh yeah and also apparently people are offended if you call it HVAC or HVAC what is the proper <laughs> way what's the proper terminology I'm gonna call it HVAC it's so yeah, it's so long to be like H V A C R. Yeah. H V A C. And just just right. H back. It's fine. It's just just abbreviated. It's, it's so funny. That was a whole conversation on social media the other day. Really? One of the H in the H dot V dot A dot C dot R dot groups. Right? So and then like, it's H backer. H backer. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're talking about hackers and yes <laughs> see uh, our pirates and uh. i um <laughs> it cracks me up of like these parameters that some of these dudes just put on the train we can't say any we can't say anything right or do anything right or have no nice never things. that's happened <laughs> it's always forever, wrong <laughs> right so um are you planning on going to any uh, events this year uh yeah i know that HR, mm -hmm. where are they at this year? Orlando. Uh, oh, that'll be next. Texas? Oh. No, oh, that's the Women of Florida. HVAC is Florida. in ta Texas. And then there's Service World Expo in, in Florida. September, you could live in Florida for September. I thought about renting an Airbnb for the whole month at this Why? point. Why? All the, half the events, industry events are in September oh, over in there. Orlando. Are they? Pantheon's no, in Orlando. Nexar Super Meetings in Orlando. Service World Expo's in Orlando. My, and it's like week after week. Yes. I'm like, <laughs> I bet I can get a month rate on the Airbnb and it'd probably be a, Not a bad idea. It'd probably be cheaper and more yeah. comfortable. My kids are going to want to go. That's the other thing that I keep saying, because my daughter, her birthday's in September and she wants to go back to Disney World. My and I'm birthday's like, in September. Let's just move to Orlando for September. People. Yeah. We have officing from Orlando for the month, but... There you go. Yeah. Have fun. Awesome. I think you should, um, j girl, just keep doing what you're doing. Show how Thank to you. do the things and fix the things. And you, you know, Leslie always says, we're trying to bring sexy back to plumbing. And then we always <laughs> joke of like, was it ever sexy? Because it's a dirty job. And HVAC can be a dirty job, but it's also not always too. Right. So yeah. show all the pieces. Sometimes it's just water. Yeah. <laughs> And plumbing. <laughs> when our plumbers walk in, I'm like, brown water. What's on your feet? What's sometimes your feet? it is brown, but sometimes it's just a faucet leak yes. or a yard leak or right. 
Sometimes it's just I'm, the capacitor. Sometimes you're covered in insulation. And yeah. breathing. Oh my in. gosh. And sometimes I'm covered in people's skin cells like skin yeah. cells <laughs> yeah. yes oh my gosh and just in my face i'm like oh Ugh. i just breathe don't overthink. like don't all overthink. of 20 of you in here yeah. <laughs> don't overthink what's on that filter because it will gross oh, you out but oh, still yeah. there's still the the cool part of it no pun intended <laughs> Well done. Well done. And the hot part of it, too. And the hot part, too. Um, I also love, too, she has a TikTok. Sam fangirling. Fangirl. Um, Give her, I, what is her handle on TikTok so people can follow I'm her? I'm going to say it wrong. What is it? Ash. It's Ash X Kills. Kills. Yeah. So yeah. Um, on TikTok and Instagram? Yes. Yes. Okay. Everywhere. Well, she did a TikTok. I made like, sure to make it same. <laughs> oh, that's perfect. She yeah. did one where she went to the supply houses and showed that side, and that was cool. Too. Oh, that's fun. I love that one too. I gave them all a heads up. I'm like, hey, I'm coming through and filming. Like, if you don't have snacks out, like, you're going to be on the bottom of the list. Yeah. She, oh, she rated that. on who had the best snacks. That's, that's a what good it was. one. Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> I literally, our guys, our supply houses would be offended if I because, like, I don't think ours much have one any have snacks. snacks. I don't just think one. Ours do. So, I mean, literally, I they had one. some good. Yeah, yeah, one. And then, well, yeah, there was one. There's like men. another refrigerator or something, right? Something like. Oh yeah, the guy told hole. me. Yeah, the guy told me. I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna do the snack thing," and he's like, "Well, we didn't put anything over there. We only have water." And he's like, "Whatever's in the fridge." I was like, "Isn't that your your personal <laughs> lunches?" He's like, "Well, <laughs> yeah, their but I think it. there's something in there." That's hilarious. Like, oh, let's take your uh, that could be a funny video. <laughs> it was hilarious. Yeah. She did it. So that's so cool. All right. Oh, I just kicked that. Well, it was good to catch up with you. Yes, um, great and meeting you. you. And um, nice hopefully we'll too. catch up at some event sometime soon. And yes. uh, keep doing what you're Go doing. Go follow Ashley on TikTok and Instagram. Absolutely. Ash X. Kills. Kills. With a Z or S? L L Z. Z. That's Z. what I thought. Okay. Yep. And... Um, yeah, like, share, comment, follow. And no, all the I think honestly, it's so cool what she's doing. Like, oh, go no, support 100%. her. percent. I've learned some things. Buy and one of those bags through her link. I think I'm going to. <laughs> do you um, have a link? <laughs> they don't do uh, um, links mm. per person. They just yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, do you have a? Code? But they do have a promo right now. No, they don't. They don't do that yet. Oh. So they're trying to work on it and trying to see like you know like with each person. They're like, missing the that, spot on you, girl. Like, then you, you need a code promo yes. code. Yes. <laughs> Thank That's you. I'll awesome. let him know. Yeah. I'll tell him again. We're going to tell him. <laughs> Missing the promo code for you. All right. Well, it was good catching up to you. Have a great day. And we'll it see nice you sometime soon. Yes. Thank you. Thank nice you. to meet you. All right. Bye. 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 This has been Power Women of the Trades. Like what you hear so far? Leave us a review at Apple. And make sure to listen to our other episodes wherever you enjoy listening to your podcasts. Thanks for listening. And we'll catch you on the next one.